guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a first impressions video for you all it's going to be on the Mac Pro Longwear foundation I picked mine up online in the shade NC30 so I haven't even tried this foundation the lady never put it on my face in the store I kind of just winged it um, I did test to see if the color would match me today so I'm hoping it matches <laughs> because just from the tiny little bit that I swatched on my neck it should match um, yeah I don't think the box doesn't really give too much of what the foundation is going to do so I'm going to read it off the website um, but just quickly about the packaging this is what it looks like there is no lid for say but it does come with a pump and a lock and release system which I quite enjoy just because then you're not messing around with like lids and whatnot um, there is 30 mil in this bottle so it's quite sleek and compact considering the amount of product that you get but I don't feel like the glass is so thin that if you accidentally knocked it over that it would smash I feel like with the pro longwear concealer that's an issue but I think they did well with the packaging on this one so I'm just going to read you what the website says about this foundation so it says a creamy foundation that gives you up to 15 hours of wear in any environmental condition a comfortable long wearing foundation that gives you medium coverage with a natural matte finish and up to five 15 hours of wear in any environmental condition. Lightweight and creamy, it applies and blends easily, leaving the skin feeling soft. Oh my god, the description just went away. Leaving the skin feeling soft and free to breathe all day while controlling oil. Specially treated, micronized pigments help give a smoother, more flawless, natural, matte finish with stay true color. So I'm just going to start off by applying maybe one pump to the face and then just distributing it that way. I've recently been applying foundation just directly from the bottle and I actually do quite like it. It's less messy that way. So I'm just going to do that today as well. So I just did four lines on my face. So that's probably about a pump. Um, and I'm just going to start patting it in with a flat top brush. This foundation is really orange. <laughs> so if you did have a very, very green based complexion, I feel like this color wouldn't suit you that well. Um, yeah it is blending in quite nicely though like it's not going streaky or anything like that but I do feel like I need a lot more so that is one pump um, or at least I think it's about one pump I feel like that only gave me very very light coverage um, it did even out the skin tone but you can still see the redness and you can still see that giant imperfection on my cheek <laughs> so I'm gonna do this side just to catch this side up and then I'll do another layer I feel like on the first layer it doesn't really do that much besides even out the skin tone. I feel like if you had perfect skin and all you wanted to do was match the colour then this would be enough. But this is definitely not enough for me. Like you can still see so much of my redness. So I'm going to go in with another layer. If you're curious as to how much is in one pump, that is one pump there. I don't really know if I like this foundation so far. Like, it's not really covering my redness. Like, I can still see it. It's kind of emphasizing my pores, and I don't really like that. But then again, I didn't put any pore primers on my face. I didn't put any primer on my face. I only moisturized. So I'm going to go in with another pump. I feel like I've used four pumps of foundation so far. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to my face. I feel like with some foundations, you can do one layer over your face and then just target certain areas to get coverage. But with this foundation, I felt like I've had to do two full layers on my face, which makes me feel like I've got a lot of product on my face. Um, I don't know. So far, I'm not exactly that impressed, purely because I'm using a lot of product and I'm not even worried about the waste factor. I'm more worried about how it's going to feel on my skin in a little bit. Okay, so this is what two layers of this foundation looks like on my face. I use four pumps all up, and it does look quite odd in color on the viewfinder. Like, in real life, it doesn't look too bad, but in the viewfinder, it just looks like I'm, like, green or something. I have no idea. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a little bit of, well, I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, and then I will come back. Okay guys, so I am back. It's now 10.36. I forgot to put on fake eyelashes, so I'll do that later maybe. Um, we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, I didn't apply any primer and I didn't use any powder, um, but I did set underneath my eyes just with my normal setting powder and then I did bronze my face as well. So that's all the 
powders that I added to my face. Um, I am quite liking the color of it now. Um, I feel like it's still a little bit yellow, but it's not too bad um, after I've bronzed and all that other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm liking how the foundation is sitting. It doesn't look too bad in the pore area now, um, or at least from far away. Like, unless you were like up like this close in my face, I don't think that you would be able to notice too much. So it doesn't look all that bad. Um, yeah, so far so good. So I guess I'll check back with you in about a few hours. Okay guys, so I'm back for another update. It's currently 12.48 um, in the afternoon, obviously. Um, I haven't even looked at my foundation like up close in a mirror in quite a while. I've just been filming a few videos today. Um, but looking at the foundation so far, I am quite impressed. Like, it's not oiling up anywhere, which I quite like, and it's not sinking into my pores, which is quite good. Um, it is starting to crack a little bit where my laugh lines are, um, but that is quite normal, depending on what foundation I use. Um, yeah, it's sitting on the skin quite nicely. So far from first impressions, I don't feel like this is an everyday foundation. This is definitely a special occasion, like needing my foundation to last type of foundation. I don't think this would be good for every day purely because it's starting to look a bit like it's not that it's starting to look a bit heavy but it just it feels very heavy and it's also starting to make my skin a bit itchy too. <laughs> so I am back. It is currently 10 13 if you can see that there. Um, I'm gonna have a look in the mirror. I am very very shiny and I noticed some congestion in my face. If you don't know what I mean by congestion, I mean I kind of see blackheads where there wasn't blackheads this morning. I know that's a bit TMI, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's making my skin quite congested and I'm not quite happy with that. And I'm not too sure if it's this or if it's just my skin. I've got no idea. I'll have to update you guys on that. Um, I do notice that the foundation is starting to well up in like my pore areas here. If you don't know what that means, it basically is when the foundation wipes away, but it's still in your pores and it just looks like you've got spots of foundation or pore filled, foundation filled pores, which is not cute. Um, my forehead is quite shiny and so is my nose, but that is the two places that I get oily the most. The foundation on my nose has, I mean, my foundation on my chin has completely rubbed off. I don't know what to go with that. Overall, I think this foundation would last a bit better um, with a primer, I'm going to guess, to fill in the pores, and I'm going to guess a powder just to set it in place. Um, also, I don't think it lives up to its 15 hour claim. I feel like I've had it on for almost 15 hours now and it's not looking its best. Like I would definitely be taking it off regardless of if I was filming this video or not because it is not looking its best. Um, at least for my skin type, I do have normal combination skin, um, oily in the T-zone, normal on the cheeks. Um, yeah, I really don't think it's that good for my skin type at least. I'll definitely keep trying it out and I'll, if I like it, then I'll update you guys about it. But yeah, so far I'm not that impressed. Like, it lasts a long time, but it doesn't look good for that time. I don't know. Like, I feel like I've got to play around a little bit more with this one. I'm just a little bit unsure. But those are my final opinions for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below some, some products that you would like to see me first impression next. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.